So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in File Explorer options. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on the View tab. Now you want to select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Make sure that you select this and then click on OK. For the second step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this, on the left hand side, you're gonna scroll down and then click on this PC. Now you want to find the drive that has the Windows logo on it. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. You're gonna double click on that drive. Now you're gonna click on Program Files. You're gonna be seeing the Adobe folder right here. You want to delete this. Delete Adobe and then continue. I'm now gonna maximize this. And now for the next step, you're gonna go back to your Windows drive. Now you're gonna click on Program Files x86. You want to find the Adobe folder and delete this. And then continue. And now for the next step, you're gonna go back to your Windows drive. Now you're gonna click on Users. And now you're gonna click on your username. And now you're gonna click on App Data. Now these three folders are also gonna contain Adobe in it. So we're gonna delete that. So first it's gonna be local, double click on it. Delete Adobe, go back to App Data, Local Low, Delete Adobe, go back to App Data, and then Roaming. Delete Adobe, and then we're done. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to Search and type in Registry Editor. Click on it, and then click on Yes. And now once you're on this, you want to expand HG Current User. Now you want to expand Software. Now you want to find Adobe, you want to delete this folder. So right click on it, and then Delete. And then click on yes. We can now close out all this. And now for the next step, you're gonna expand under it HK local machine. Now we're gonna expand software. And you're gonna be seeing Adobe again. You want to delete it. So you're gonna right click and then delete. And then click on yes. And now for the last step, you just wanna restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed.